Hello. Um, happy Halloween almost. Yeah, so I'm just doing another uh, update on my channel where I do not edit the videos. Everything is extremely raw, and I just blog about my uh, language learning a little bit. So uh, as if you watch my channel at all, as you know, I've been studying uh, lots of Korean uh, for several years, and it's been going really, really slowly. So uh, just doing a quick update on that. Uh, this summer, I did a lot of um, uh, tutoring online. I was hoping to, that this would somehow, well, of course, jumpstart my learning. And I, I don't think it did. It was a little bit helpful, but it never, it didn't really. Um, I wasn't using italki. Um, I was using a different service, but anyway, it's uh, very similar to italki. It was supposed to be group lessons, but it was one-on-one -on -one lessons instead. And if it were group lessons, I think that would have been more fun. I think um, I really think that when it comes to something like grammar lessons, uh, doing it in a, a bigger group just adds more people and just it just makes it more a better experience, more memorable, um, as opposed to uh, when you're doing free talking. Then the more time you get to speak, the better. And that's where I think a one-on-one -on -one lesson would really shine. Um, I know I loved it for Japanese once I had studied lots of Japanese grammar, um, even, and uh, so the one-on-one -on -one lessons were great, although group lessons were okay too, but one-on-one -on -one lessons, I really liked those a lot. Yeah, so um, I have I, I wanted to continue with Korean, kind of. I mean, I was thinking after I took these lessons, I might stop Korean and then go do something else entirely, I, which is kind of what I'm doing. So um, at, at my job, I it seems like my particular position um, I handle insurance claims. Somehow in my particular position doing uh, claims with attorney representing people, um, there's a lot of Spanish speakers. And if you do any kind of business in the U.S., I think, or live in the U.S., you know Spanish is a pretty big language. In particular, this my little niche here, it seems that people that don't speak English as a first language really tend to uh, want to get someone to help them, and they they get these attorneys so that to help them out. So... Um, have a, and I don't, you would think, oh, you speak to the attorney. No, I don't speak to the attorney all the time. I have to talk to the, to both. So, um, yeah. Um, so I have a lot of opportunity to speak Spanish at work. And I was also, if I have to do job hunting, uh, Spanish would be really nice to have on my resume. So I decided to study Spanish and that's been about two weeks now. Um, and I kind of flirted with Spanish in the past six months. I, I would say the past year. I didn't didn't actually officially start studying it or anything, but I would watch the occasional YouTube video, basically, that my feed, I would just click on something because my YouTube knows I likes that I like watching language videos of all kinds. And uh, among those would be Spanish. And I, so I've seen uh, some Sp like on the, the occasional uh, YouTube video in Spanish, usually about learning Spanish or teaching Spanish, but... Anyway, so that's um, that was all the brush up I have was the occasional YouTube video. Um, I would say that actually helped just a tiny bit because I think my before doing that, my Spanish was even more rusty. Like I couldn't even remember. I remember a couple of years ago, I couldn't remember how to say I in Spanish. That was how rusty I was. Um, so uh, how much Spanish have I done? In college, I took two classes, I think. I took... Um, like beginner one, like semester one Spanish. And then I took uh, intermediate one. I kind of skipped beginner two Spanish for some reason. And that was part of it just because I had studied German. I felt just very confident and, and, and the Spanish is a little bit easier. I just felt so confident. I wanted to kind of, and I wanted to go fast, but yeah. So I, I, unfortunately at that time, although I, I think I did okay, uh, considering how much time I put into it, I, I didn't get that far with Spanish. Um, then about 10 years later on my job, I got for, I, for similar reasons, I decided to study Spanish again. And I, I don't know exactly how long, maybe four to six months, maybe three months. I don't know, but for more than just a little bit, although not too much, I was very serious about learning Spanish and, um, did everything I could, mostly immersion. Uh, that's that was what what I did for German. I just uh, listened to, um, I guess CNN on my satellite radio. Um, I had a had headphones. I could actually go out and go. You know, I did a lot of cycling, and I would listen to just listen to tons of Spanish there, and read uh, some books like Harry Potter in Spanish. And I did that for I don't know how long, but enough to where I, I actually saw a bigger a noticeable improvement. And I actually started speaking to customers on the phone if um, if they seemed like nice people, <laughs> basically. 
Um, but then I got into Japanese and that completely stopped. I focused when I got into Japanese, I deliberately did not look at any other languages, did not use them, wanted to fo- I was just so into Japanese. I, and I felt that if I distract myself with Spanish, German、uh, or French or whatever, then、um, that Spanish,、uh, Japanese was so difficult that it would just ruin any ability I had to output in Japanese. I was having so much trouble outputting Japanese. And I think I was right <laughs> about that.、Um, When I tried it anyway,、um, outputting in a, in a difficult language like Japanese is very difficult. And if you get language interference like I was getting, then that's a very real thing. And anyway, that was my priority was, was Japanese. So, anyway, for the past two weeks, I've been doing、um, uh, getting back into Spanish. I got Spanish on the link. I got the lifetime purchase. That is, if you have looked at the link prices, that's actually just shy of $200 just to get Spanish. If you each language on link is its own lifetime purchase, you can't get your, you know, the, like, the, like the standard monthly fee. You get access to all the languages, not so for the lifetime purchases. Yeah, they really get you、um, with that. They know what they're doing. But、um, I think it's worth it. I,、uh, I, I bought it and、um, I bought a,、uh, a book,、uh, The Eye of the World in Spanish. Um, and El Ojo, El, El Ojo de Mundo. I, I forget exactly how they translate it, probably that though. And I've been reading that, and it was just so much fun.、Um, it, within like the first couple days, it's, it's kind of like I, I'm reading it. It was okay at first, even from the get go, it wasn't bad, but it just I felt like I'm just remembering more and more just really fast as I'm reading it. And with Link, you can look up words very quickly. It's faster than a Kindle.、Um, Spanish is、uh, the way this, you know, has spaces between the words, and it's a popular language. So the, the, the way the dictionary, the user made dictionary on Link is, you know, is pretty decent. So it's just been a really good experience. And、um, reading, reading with the Roman alphabet and、uh, a European language again has been just so nice as opposed to Japanese and then Korean. Oh, man. Um, I would already say that I, I have, although I put、uh, like four, three or four years into Korean, uh, now uh, my Spanish is just at least for you know, absolutely better than my、um, absolutely better than, than my Korean, and, which is sad because my heart is with、uh, you know, the Asian languages. I love the, I just I, I really love, love studying them and I like traveling to Asia. It's just great. But those languages are hard, man. Uh, but I really do want to learn Spanish. I felt, I guess, I, ever since I got into foreign languages,、uh, being American, Spanish is a big second language in the US. And so it's legitimately useful. It's、uh, on, my, on your resume, just in real life. It's something you can really use. So、um, if I can you know, get that to a proper B2 level where I'm fully conversational, then that would, it would make an imp- a lifestyle impact、uh, for me in the US for sure. Um, you don't need Spanish by, by any means, but at least I don't think so. <laughs>、um, but it, there's a lot of it. So you can definitely take advantage.、Uh, other languages, not so much. It's very, very unusual that、uh, you get even an opportunity to use a different language besides English or Spanish in the US,、uh, unless you deliberately go out looking for it. And that's just not the same, like for a language exchange type thing. So,、um, yeah, I, I did an iTalkie lesson. I, done,、uh, I, I found a tutor.、Uh, I was watching somebody's YouTube channel for, he called it Intermediate Spanish. And it seems like a very basic、uh, conversation, but it was like, maybe intermediate. The tutor seemed nice.、Um, he had a link in the description. So I signed up with her. And it's, it's been nice. She's nice. <laughs> so、um, it actually blows my mind. It's just like if I can,、uh, I, pretty much、uh, when it comes for Spanish anyway, it seems like if I can read it, then I can listen to it. I, and understand it. There's not like a big difference between my reading ability and my listening ability. My speaking ability, yeah,、uh, that output is a bit behind. But、uh, understanding spoken Spanish versus、uh, reading Spanish, there's probably a small difference, but it's not nearly as huge、uh, or as big as、um, Japanese or Korean is.、Uh, you know, the, the drop off there is just, I don't, I don't know why. So those languages are so bad.、Um, and With all the cognates, it's like she's saying words like, like, a, a, like a, a lunar eclipse. It's basically the same. I forget what it was in Spanish, but basically the same. It's either the same or recognizable. It's just like words that a foreign language learner really has no right knowing. I know them because the languages are that close. So you get all this, <laughs> these, like, these cheats. 
Um, and it's so nice. I, I, I can just understand her speak. And she's probably grading her language a little bit when she's talking to me. But really, man, the, the, the conversations we're having, they're very abstract. And um, I struggle to keep the conversation when I output, um, you know, to, to keep up my end of the conversation. But I can absolutely understand what she's saying. And there's just no problem with that. And so yeah, it's just a, so, such a different experience. So Spanish is going really well. I suspect that I'm relearning stuff that I probably used to know. And so that's why, one reason why it feels so good because uh, things are, are clicking so fast. But then I'll, once I, it, it'll probably slow down a bit. Um, oh, also there's a language meetup in Tucson where I live uh, for Spanish and French. Um, and so I, I went to that. I'm not sure how, it seems that they, these, these meetups pop up like once or twice a month. So it's not every week, but um, it's, pretty regular. And uh, I went there and I tried to speak some, um, I ended up speaking more English because it was my only, I was one week back. And, um, but it was pretty good. The, uh, ironically, the lady next to me, um, she said she was studying Spanish for two weeks from zero. Apparently, if you believe her, she was actually able to have a conversation though. So I don't know how much, <laughs> how truthful that was that she was an experienced language learner having studied, uh, I think like, like French, uh, German and stuff, uh, in the past, but even so, um, like if I went to study Italian and I did study Italian for like a day, but if I, if I kept it up for two weeks, there would be, there would be no conversation. <laughs> I mean, if you wanted to speak Italian at me, I could try to understand it, but that's not, I, I would not be able to send it back to you. <laughs> no way. Um, yeah. So anyway, um, I also got the, um, the lifetime subscription for Japanese on link. And uh, because Spanish was going well, I'm like, well, I don't read Japanese very often unless I force myself to do it. Maybe if it's on Link, because it's just a little bit easier. Looking up words is just a bit easier on Link as opposed to on a Kindle or anything else. Although you can certainly do it on uh, the Google Playbooks, for example, or um, or your your Kindle. It's just a little bit more awkward. It takes a, a little bit more time to do, and, and so it kind of interrupts your flow anyway. And also Link, although not the best, it's got some problems. It does have a Furigana um, uh, ability uh, or feature to um, to add Furigana to the text, which is a bit helpful. Um, unfortunately, sometimes it's very strange Furigana, but still, it's it's it also help, that also helps a little bit. So I started reading um, a light novel I downloaded on my Kindle and uh, ripped it to my computer and uploaded to Link. You have to know how to remove the DRM. Um, EPUBER Ultimate seems to be able to do it currently. Um, for years and years, the um, the software protection on the Kindles was kind of like, and it was okay, but but the, the, if you wanted to crack it, you could crack it. There was stuff on the internet to, to do that. Then somehow Amazon got just got really, uh, they kind of cracked down on the cracks made it a lot more difficult and it just, it was, it was hard to do for a while, but currently it seems that EPUB or ultimate, it just works. So thank, thank God for language learners. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, who else? I mean, I could see that if you wanted to, uh, crack your eBooks cause you pay for these things. And if you're a Kindle, like if Amazon for some reason, um, takes that copy, that that book off their their you know their library, then suddenly you have no access to it, even though you paid for it. So having your own backup copy does make sense, but I'm not too worried about that. So maybe other people are. I guess like maybe I should be. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah. So that's going well. I'm reading a book in Japanese. I'm reading a book in uh, Spanish, and I am still doing Korean. I'm still reading. I level up uh, a, a book I downloaded and ripped about this I, I kind of I love video games and this book is about kind of like about a video game it's a little weird so it's called like, only I level up and I'm trying to think there might be an anime I can't remember if there's an anime there probably is an anime I'll have to double check that I'm like why would I get into this if there wasn't an anime only I level up is what it's called and it's um yeah it's really good um, I think there might be a manga, not an anime, just a manga. And there's probably going to be an anime coming out. That's probably what's going, what it is anyway. Uh, so I'm enjoying that. However, um, on link, even with, with uh, compared to Spanish compared to, and I did a little bit of German too, compared to reading German compared to Japanese 
Korean is still just so difficult. And it's just the, um, the I've gotten very used to the alphabet. That, that's not a problem. It's like I don't have to sound things out slowly. It's just I've got pretty good recognition of the alphabet. But the words, my just my, my Korean ability just isn't there. But I am legitimately studying three languages at once now. That's not something I've done since college. Yeah, but I'm not a beginner in any of these, so that helps. Um, don't want to add any more to the mix. Having three is way too many, but thankfully, at least none of them are at zero. So, um, yeah, so studying uh, three languages at once. Uh, Spanish is going well. Japanese is going well. Basically, languages are going well for me right now. Um, I am briefly considering going back to Japan uh, again to teach English um, since the coronavirus came out. Um, I, I actually might have gone back a lot sooner, um, except for the coronavirus came out. And then I got, I don't know, I, I'm still kind of comfortable with my current job, but they had layoffs. And so suddenly my current job doesn't feel so safe. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of like, what? It's not this safe thing that, that it used to be. So I'm just kind of like, it's looking a little more attractive. I mean, go back to Japan while I can still you know, enjoy myself and get some more life, you know, unique life experiences. Because although living in Japan, there was a lot of stuff that I felt lonely a lot of the time, um, ironically, because I had so many friends. Um, There's a lot of things I didn't like about Japan and ultimately why I came back. But there's so much I loved about it, the experiences. And I ever since coming back to America, just it's just like not a day goes by where I don't think about you know, my life in Japan before when I was living there. So Probably wouldn't do that for Korea, although it would be really fun to try to do that to learn the language. Um, I just the the country itself just doesn't quite have the appeal that Japan has for me. A um, couple reasons for that. One would be just the uh, fact that it's closer to China. It doesn't feel quite safe. Um, it gets pollution from China. The air quality, you need to check that at a daily basis. I like to go outside and go jogging. And then... Um, and then the visa, the visas are not, at least in the past for Japan, they were, I'm not sure they might be, uh, tight, but you know, getting more strict, but they were very flexible, very loose. So if you get a job with it, get a work visa, you get a job, you can, you know, you get to keep the visa basically and just go find another job maybe, or even not find a job. They didn't check on you. It was very loose. Um, you were allowed to just, you know, you had your visa, you're allowed to be in the country. But in Korea, they're much more strict. That visa you get is for the specific job that you're doing. And if you want to get a new job, then you have to get a new visa It's or something like that. It's pretty um, – I, I, if I get more serious about it, I'll look into it in more detail. But I, just, I being stuck with one company, what if I don't like the job? What if it doesn't? it's not working out? That's a little bit scary. So that's another reason why I would not – may not go to Korea, even though it would be very cool to uh, – live there to uh, you know experience the culture and learn the language a lot better. And that is where I'm at. I will hopefully have more updates. I know I don't do much on my YouTube channel and uh, maybe I'll do more. Um, I guess I don't want to be a YouTuber per se. I still like blogging, but I don't want to be a YouTuber because people, I know YouTubers, if you check their channels, the real YouTubers, man, they put time into those channels. The editing the videos, that's tough. And then thinking of content, that's tough. It's, it can be fun, but it's, it's time consuming. And uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you have any comments, they're always appreciated. Have a great day.